Hey guys, it's me and it's more. Um, so today I want to tell you about her hair at two years old. And I'm just going to do a walkthrough showing you the products that I continue to use. Also to do a length check and to show you what her length currently looks, looks like. And talk about some of the things that I do now that she's two years old. So today is her birthday. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> today's her birthday and um so she just turned two years old so i did a previous video on how i do her hair now it's called um create tear free hairstyles by stretching hair and i've noticed that it's easy for me to do her hair at this point because it's when it's stretched because it is getting a whole lot longer and it's just gets tangled really easily and when it's tangled it's really hard for me to do her hair because she starts crying and things like that um, so I've made her wash day every other week before we were doing two week every week but now we do every two weeks just because the wash day does take two days because I have to stretch it so actually her hair is not stretched um, I washed it last week and I just put it in two cornrows. So this is a six day old hairstyle with just two cornrows. Take the toothbrush out your mouth. So um, I'll show you from the side her length, what it looks like now. So that's where she's at with her length. And I'll show you what products I use to do her hair. So today she's just going to get two ponytails. And I still use the same products, the Everything Butter, of course. And a lot of you moms really, really love this product. I have a lot of good reviews on this product. Okay, I'm being a little rough. So she's telling me that I'm being rough. But a lot of you guys love the butter. And I still use the moisturizing mist. And these are the only two products that I really use in her hair. This So, once I put the mist in her hair, it kind of just does a good job of bringing things back to life. And it just puts all that moisture back into her hair that she lost the week before. And all I'm going to do is brush her hair into a little bun. For the shampooing process of her hair, what I've been doing, I have a shampoo that I'm still working on um, to bring out. But it's an all-natural shampoo, so that's what I'm using for her hair. And for conditioner, um, I still sometimes use the as I am and um, I just use whatever conditioner I'm using on my hair at the time so as you can see her hair is a little bit dry and since this hairstyle has been in her hair for six days I'm gonna go ahead and re-moisturize it so this is what her ponytails are looking like but I'm not gonna put her hair in a ponytail she is going to get two cute little buns today i'm just gonna go ahead and twist that so that's what the first bun looks like and i'm gonna go ahead and take the other one and just do the same process um, but at night, I still do the same thing that I've been doing since she's been about nine months old. I've been using the stocking cap on her hair at night. And that is another thing that's helping me to retain her length. Um, she's sitting still, like I said, because I try to be gentle, even though I'm working really fast right now. I'm not pulling. If I find a knot, I'm just gently removing the knots with my hand. 
I try I try not to remove knots with combs unless it's ab absolutely it. necessary. Oh, don't want it. You don't want it? Okay. Yes. Unless it's absolutely necessary, then I will um, use a comb to take out her knots. see she's very vocal when it hurts so if I hurt her sometimes I have to take a break or sometimes I have to move really quick because at that point she sometimes doesn't want me to continue to do her hair so I'll go ahead and show you guys again with this side of the length Whoa. of this side of her hair her hair from the front and her hair on the side Spraying some of my mist. Whenever I brush her hair into ponytails, what I try to avoid doing, I really try to avoid um, using a brush, but I use this brush, which is a board bristle brush, and it's less damaging to the hair. And the reason why I like to do buns instead of ponytails is because the buns do not tangle during the day and more tangles lead to more breakage and more tangles also make her very very cranky when I'm doing her hair. So yeah that is where we are at at two years old and I'm just going to secure that with a bobby pin. Now, I don't recommend you use a bobby pin if you have younger kids. And if you do use a bobby pin, just make sure you secure it really, really well. Um, cool. Because it could be a safety hazard. So, we're all done. And this is just what a typical weekend looks like i usually only do her hair like this during the weekday during the, during the weekends on the weekdays we usually have braids and things like that in her hair and this is just what a typical process of me doing her hair looks like so if you have any questions feel free to ask and thanks for watching say bye 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 bye, bye, -bye.